Hey everyone, how's it going? So last time we got set up with Pug, which is our template engine, and uh, what we did is just render some HTML right there. Um, so you can see we added the title and the body and stuff like that. Um, what we're going to do now is pass some content from our server to our template and we'll render it. So um, what we're going to do specifically in this case is render a page title. So we'll start by getting rid of those two divs. In fact, you might not have these two divs. I just added them just to show you something with the indentation. Um, so I've got rid of those. Now we're left with just this. And what we're going to do is pass a page title uh, into this template that we'll render here instead. Okay. So instead of welcome, we'll come back and add something else there. So in app.js, uh, it's actually quite simple. All we're going to do is go down to this uh, get block right here. Uh, and inside there, before we um, render the page, we're going to uh, create some content. So we're going to create a payload. Now a payload is just uh, a term used to... Um, to refer to the data we're sending to a function or to a page or through a request or something like that. Um, so I can say var payload. Oh, let me uh, make sure I spell that right. Var payload equals, um, and it'll just be an object. Uh, and now we will come back and add other properties to this, but um, just for now, we're going to have one property called page title, uh, and then we'll just give this a page title of home. Okay, so then what we'll do is take this object we created right there and pass it as a second parameter to render. So this render function takes two parameters, the first one being the um, the page we want to render, or the template in our case, uh, and then the payload is any data we want to send to it. So um, this will send this payload object to our page. So uh, what we want to do is take that page title, this one right here, and stick it in there. Now all we need to do to access this is uh, use um, uh, pound sign followed by curly brackets and then the name of the variable. So we're going to say page title because that's what we called it here. So make sure this name matches exactly as how you have it here. Okay. So this now should take the page title and render that as the title. So I've stopped my server and I'm going to restart it. And now if I go back to our site and refresh the page, you should see home as a title, which we do. Look in the tab right there, you'll see home. Um, so yeah, it worked. So that's just a real quick example of how we can pass data from our server through to our template and then render that dynamically.